Okay, so welcome to a city driving vlog tour here. I'm probably in a shadow right now, don't worry. We're not gonna be looking at me too much. We're gonna be looking at the city as we drive around. So this is East London, and today we're gonna do the Argyle area. And I'm just gonna drive around and show you the streets, show you the schools, show you the houses, and tell you how much they sell for, where's a good area, where's a bad area. We're gonna talk about like a little hidden gem. Like if your budget is low and you're just trying to get a place to live, under $500,000, there's very safe, very affordable, very spacious townhome condos that you should be looking at that we're gonna look at in just a sec. Look at the map right here, okay? So all of this is Argyle area in East London. So if we scroll in, that's Argyle. And then I right now am parked on the side of the road right here. Now, this box, okay, Trafalgar down to Gore. This is Trafalgar Heights. That's where I am. And this is actually not a bad area for a lot of you in this price range. It's a good spot to live, um, but it's split into two different sections. So we have the newer section, which was built in the late 90s, early 2000s. And then we have the older section, which is like the 60s and the 70s, okay? There's a huge contrast between these two areas, all right? So let's drive around. So right now, let's drive around. So this here, is what a typical street in the new part of this area looks like. And so you'll see out the window, a lot of these homes here are, they're either a small two-story, they're a raised bungalow, or a split level, like a back split, okay? So these houses typically are selling between six hundred dollars and $700,000. The, a lot of them that are smaller, they're going to be on the lower end of that $600,000, $700,000 range. It's the two stories and then the ones that are a bit bigger with the two car garages. Like you see how this one has a one car garage? Like that's going to lower the value a little bit, especially if it's a raised ranch. Um, a, a lot of these are just going to go mid sixes, which, you know, depending on where you're coming from, like the GTA, you can't get anything for mid 600s. So they're a pretty good deal in that sense. People that grew up in this area will be like, man, that's a lot of money, but that's Canadian real estate for you right now, okay? So, this street that I'm on is about to turn into Marconi Boulevard. Now, Marconi, I'll explain where, you'll see where it changes from a good area to a bad area real quick when we get there, all right? Um, but I'm gonna pull over here because I wanna show you these right here. So, this is the hidden gem that I'm talking about. If your budget is under $500,000, this is Tiffany Woods. I'll show you on the map. We're turning in right here. Tiffany Woods townhomes. They're condos. So you will have a condo fee. But these are selling roughly for $450,000. And they're pretty spacious inside. They have large bedrooms. I'm telling you right now. Um, and, and they're in pretty good shape. It's also very safe. Like, here's the thing about East London is... Sometimes you're near areas where there's a lot of, you know, riffraff, uh, not so good people, semi-homeless, drug-addicted people. This isn't anywhere near them. Like, you just saw the houses that we drove by. Those houses are what most of your neighbors are in, in this region, okay? And they're, they're, they're nice, good, hardworking people with, with a nice home. And then... On the other side of that, what you have is the highway. You have the, the airport road or, or Veterans Memorial that takes you out to, um, to the highway or to the airport. There's no one around here that's, that's going to really cause problems. This is a nice, quiet, safe area, a fantastic spot for you to live. And these things right here selling mid-400s. And with the market the way it's going, it's probably going down in, in the next little while. So you can get three bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms, and some of them, We'll even have a finished basement with another bedroom, another bathroom in there. So now you're looking at four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, all for roughly around that $450,000 mark. If I was looking in that price range, this is where I would be looking. This is one of the top spots on my list, okay? Let's keep going. I got more to show you. There's ones that we're going to drive by, by the way, that are the same, but they're not a condo. Now, they'll go five hundred dollars instead of four fifty, dollars but you don't have a condo fee, right? So... Uh, not, not bad. By the way, I forgot to mention, we got two streets we're going to look at soon that you should avoid at all costs. Sometimes in the East End you get some rough areas, but there are some good areas. That's what I'm going over in this video. If you're looking to move to the London area and you need some help purchasing a home, that's my phone number on the screen. I grew up in this city. I'm a real estate agent in this city. I know it like the back of my hand, okay? Okay, so 
over to my right here. You're not gonna be able to see it, one sec. Okay, so these are what I'm talking about here. These are the same thing, but these ones are not condos, so you own them outright. And these ones are going to uh, uh, go for more like 500, but again, you have no condo fee then. By the way, the condo fee and those other ones were around $300 a month. These are nice homes. I'm gonna show you the nice homes for their budget. I'm gonna show you the, uh, the school that you're at in just a second, we're about to pass it. And this is kind of one of the areas where it goes from nice to not so nice, or it goes from new to old, I should say, right at the school. So this is Marconi, and now we're gonna turn down Bow Street right here, okay? So here we are on Bow Street, and there's the school up here called J.P. Robards Public School. This is the rating from the Fraser Institute. I think it's around three, if I remember correctly. I'll put it on the screen. It's not great, but that's what East London is like. Most of the schools, they don't have a stellar rating from the Fraser Institute. Eh, that's unfortunate. I think it's just socioeconomic reasons. I think the teachers care. I think the schools care. I just think there's some students that just aren't going to put in their best effort, no matter who's in charge, right? Um, now it is school hours, so I can't be a creepo here <laughs> and, and start filming as I drive by the school. I'll just drive through the, um, the parking lot here so you can kind of get a view. This is the school here. I think around a three-point rating from the Fraser Institute. So, now I'm turning down Noel. Now, you, you notice the houses now? You notice the street? Now you're at a much different part. Now this is the older part. There's some apartment buildings and some older, older homes here. These are all built. Now you're talking 60s, 70s, some 80s. And it's a completely different vibe to this part of the community than where we just were. And there is a lot of trouble that happens right when we turn this corner here. So this is back onto Marconi now, the older spot, okay? Um, growing up, in this region, there was a lot of police trouble around here in these, with these homes right here and the complexes and the apartments around here. A lot of drugs, a lot of crime, a lot of stuff going on that wasn't so good. In fact, look at these comments. These are some comments on other videos that I've made where I mention these and people are saying, yeah, like I know what you're talking about. During the day, it's nice, it's quiet, it seems fine, it's at night when things get super sketchy in this area. It's, it's not a great spot to be. Now, most of these aren't even for sale. These are government homes. So you don't really have to worry about buying them. It's just, do you want to live right beside it? That's the question you got to ask yourself. All right. I'm going to loop back around and just show you some of the older homes on this part of Trafalgar Heights, and then we'll, we'll go to the next spot. Coming up, massive like two-story homes you can get for $700,000 or around there. Um, also, in a different area, there was a shooting, broad daylight, going to drive down that street. Uh, all that is on the way. My name's Ryan. If you're moving to the London area and you need some help, reminder, that's my phone number right there on the screen. Okay, so where we are right now is back in a different spot of Trafalgar Heights. I'm right here on the map now. I just want to show you some of these older neighborhoods besides that bad street I showed you because uh, they're not so bad, to be honest with you. Uh, if you live in this area, what you're going to get is a small ranch that's like a thousand square feet. Some of them are really well taken care of. They're nice homes and they're going to be at a little bit of more affordable price than other parts of the city. So watch, I'm going to drive down this street here and I'll film out the window for you here so you can kind of get a, get a look at some of these homes. Like, as you, look, look at this guy right here. It's a nice, well taken care of small ranch home. You're gonna see a lot of this in the area, okay? I would have no problems buying a home in this area. It's safe and it's quiet. It was really just that Marconi Street, that second part, that's like the real problem in this area. This is fine. This would be a good spot to live and you're gonna get it for 500 grand, 550 grand maybe. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, so this is Trafalgar Heights. 
Okay, now you know what Trafalgar Heights looks like. It's this box right here. This was the new part we started in. This was the townhomes. The condo is right here that I think are a great deal if your budget is under 500000 And then uh, we saw the, the not-so-good sketchy part right here where there's a lot of government homes. And then I've showed you, like, the rest all up here, this older area, where you can find nice homes. They're just a bit older. Uh, now <laughs> I've done all that. Let's take our car over to what is called Nelson Park. So that's the area just north of Trafalgar right here in this box. This is right behind the mall and Canadian Tire and Walmart and all that stuff. Um, and it's near some of the worst schools in Ontario, not going to lie to you. But there's also like one section where um, some beautiful homes are. So let's go over there. Okay, so have a look on your map. I am now right here. So remember, we just did this spot. Now we're doing this spot up here. This is all called Nelson Park or on the eastern half, Bonadventure, okay? So um, this is where I am right now. And it's funny. This is so different. I'm going to show you how most of it just looks like the old part of Trafalgar Heights we were just at. But there is a few new streets. And so I'm going to drive you down this street right here. These are all built in the early 2000s. Um, most of these are selling around $700,000 or just under, and you're getting so much house for that amount. But there is one caveat, and that is t two of the worst schools in London are in this school district. Bonaventure Meadows and Lord Nelson both have some of the lowest ratings in Ontario for an elementary school. Keep that in mind. Um, but if we look here, and I hit record on my phone, I mean, you can see that these houses that we're passing look like nice homes, and they are. To be honest, I've know, I know people that live in some of these homes. Uh, they're a good size. A lot of people take care of them really well, and they're not old. They're, you're talking, um, you know, maximum 20 years old compared to, you know, 60, 70 years, years old, which a lot of the other ones were. So, I mean, and just look at the curb appeal of some of these. Look at this one. It's a beautiful home, guys. Especially some of these other ones we're about to pass. These are absolutely beautiful homes. Now, Nothing in this area recently has sold for more than really $700,000, but that just might be because things aren't selling right now. Like some of these big ones are going to be more than $700K. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what they sell for in this area. So this is Martinet, by the way. That's where I am right now. I'm on Martinet Street. Um, so now let's go to the rest of Nelson Park, and you're going to see how it changes again to the older homes. Uh, let's go drive by. Okay, so now we are on uh, Wexford Avenue, which is right off of Admiral Drive. And if you look out your window, you'll see how things have changed a bit. The houses are now much older. They're, these are now the 1960s, 1970s built homes, and they're much smaller. When we get up here and we pass the school, I'll show you, Lord Nelson Public School, unfortunately, has one of the worst uh, ratings in Ontario for an elementary school. Okay, look at the houses here. You see how it's changed quite a bit from those new, nice, big two stories we showed earlier? These are all in the same school district. And that's really the problem with those other ones is they end up being in a school district that just doesn't do well um, on province-wide testing. All right, so here we are uh, passing Lord Nelson Public School here. So this is the public school in the area. This is the rating from the Fraser Institute. Do you see it right here? So out of 3,034 schools in Ontario, this was near the bottom of the list with a one point something rating from the Fraser Institute. That's not good, man. That's not good. And it, I wouldn't have guessed that before looking it up. So, I mean, I guess that says something. You know, it's not like the end of the world. Still to come, in a different section than this, there was a shooting in broad daylight. I have the video from like the news report. Somebody was filming out their window. Uh, I'll drive down that street so you know where kind of not to be in just a second, okay? Here, I'm gonna pull over and we're gonna, we're gonna chat about the area here. Okay, so do you, do you see right in front of me right there? That's Argyle Recreation Center. That is where the, the skating rink is for the area. And then Clark Road High School is right beside that. 
for this area. Now that, again, is right behind Walmart. It's right behind the strip mall where you have the winners and you have the grocery store and you have all the main stuff is right there. So when you're living here, you're nice and close by, but I find that also means that you're close by the riffraff. Cause I mean, the people that are, are doing drugs and stuff like that, when night comes and they're hanging out, they're hanging out like behind the mall in that little secluded area and then they can kind of wander back into the different subdivisions and stuff like that. So where we were originally, like Tiffany Woods, where we started this video way at the beginning, that's so far from this stuff and I think that's why it's safe there. There's nowhere, no one's around you except for suburban homes and um, you're close to the highway. Whereas here, you're near all the malls and all, all the, uh, the stores and everything where people that are hanging out at night like to hang out behind. Okay, so I'm almost at that section that I was just talking about, this last portion of, of the Argyle region. To my right, we're driving by uh, Clark Road Secondary School, right there. We're still on Wayvale down here, going across Clark Road, and ta-da, this is the last little section. Now, um, what I'm about to say isn't a whole lot different than what I've said, except, I'll, I'll tell you this, one of the worst streets in London is also in this area, according to people on my YouTube channel. I didn't think much of it growing up, but like people keep commenting, Hilton Avenue, Hilton Avenue, stay away from Hilton Avenue. And so I'm gonna show you where that is coming up here in a second. Um, aside from that, this area is filled with small um, homes. Some of them built just after World War II, some of them are a bit newer. Um, that can be, I mean, it's, it's funny, you drive down the street, Seems like a fine area a lot of the time, but you are, again, near some of the BS that goes on. Oh, I want to show you this here. So if we come up Edmonton Street right here, this is East Lyons Community Center. Now, they, they spent a ton of money revamping this. This place was just one outdoor pool when I was a kid, okay? And now they've got like a big indoor pool. They've got a gymnasium in there. They've got... Um, two art studios like this is a pretty ball and community center they put a lot of money into creating this thing right here look at that they got uh, kids play gyms they got indoor pool they got gymnasiums they got tennis courts they got damn they, they actually put in a ton of money into this thing okay this is East Lions Community Center they've done a really good job with it but Let's go look at some of the side streets here. Okay, so this is what the side streets look like. And this is what I mean. Like these are nice little homes um, that some of them are really well taken care of and you can have a nice life in these homes. I'm right here on the map. What I don't like is its proximity to Hilton Avenue, which uh, a lot of people on my YouTube channel are saying is one of the worst streets in Windsor. Now, growing up, I was aware of the street. I knew it was rough. I didn't think it was like the end of the world. I think it's gotten a lot worse, to be honest with you, in the last decade or so than it was back in the day. All right, Edmonton turning down Hilton in London. This is what a lot of people say is one of the worst streets in London these days. It's not like when I grew up. When I grew up, it was rough. I think it's gotten rougher in the last few years. None of these you can own anyway. Most of them are all rentals. Um, but as you can see when we drive by, I mean, just taking the vibe of this street. Sorry, I gotta interrupt one more time. I found this on the internet after I recorded it. This is a shooting that happened in this area, on the street I'm driving right now. Earlier this year, there's a whole news report on it. This is a video somebody filmed from their window. Just shot at him. So that's that's Hilton Avenue. I'll finish the video here, but th that's exactly where I'm driving by right now. I wouldn't recommend living on the street or right around this street. There is some sketchy stuff that goes on now and then. All right, so we're back on Edmonton Avenue. I'm gonna go down to south of Wavell, which is a nicer spot to be. It's just, it's further away from the riffraff and it's, it's a little bit nicer of an area to be. And there are nice homes down there too. I knew some people that grew up on those in, in the, that area. It's not bad. Okay, so now we're turning off Wavell to the southern side of this area, south of Wavell. And I just think this is a much more safer, much safer spot to be. 
then up around those those houses that we passed, those, all those apartment buildings and stuff like that. Um, there just seems to be a lot of trouble in that area and then not in this area. This area, as you can see, I mean, these houses are the exact same. They look the exact same. Most of them are the exact same size. The difference is just you're further away from where, where the rough stuff generally is. Again, in this area, now you're paying right around that 500 mark. Anytime in London you're seeing a small brick home like this, prices can change obviously, but at the date of recording, it's gonna be around the 500 mark if you're in East London, okay? If you pick up this house, you put it in Byron or something, it's gonna be more money. But in East London, any time it looks like this, it's probably gonna be around the $500,000 mark. Okay, you know what? That should be good for this. This is the first one of these that I've done. This is the, the city vlog tour. Uh, some people have asked me for it because they like to see what the city actually looks like rather than me, me just showing you a map and stuff like that. So this is actually the nitty gritty of getting down and driving through London. East London, Argyle, that's the first video. I want to do like the whole city eventually. So comment below if you liked it or if you want me to keep going or if you think they suck, it's fine. You can let me know. Um, if any point in time you're moving to London and you need some help figuring out where's the right spot for you, feel free to give me a call. That's my phone number on the screen right there.